This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how you can use Notifier to do social listening on Twitter. First, I'm going to show you how to set up a Twitter searcher within Notifier. And then later on in the video, we are going to go through some different strategies you can use for your social listening on Twitter or any platform. And we're going to tell you exactly what we think you should search for. So the first step here is that we need you to connect your Twitter account. You can do that either by going to the connect accounts page here, or when you are creating a searcher, you can connect the account from there. So I'm going to click on add searcher. I'm going to uncheck the Reddit searcher because for this tutorial, we are just doing Twitter. But of course, you do have the option to use all of these other searchers. I'm going to click on connect to connect my Twitter account. And I've connected our Twitter account to the notifier application. So now I'm going to go back to add searcher. Now I'm selecting Twitter, unselecting Reddit again. I will scroll down. Now I need to tell Notifier how I want to be alerted. I'm going to select email. I want to be alerted instantly for this tutorial. Now, if you feel like you're getting too much alerts in your inbox, we do recommend selecting daily. But initially, it's always good to go with instantly just so you get an idea of the search volume that you can expect for this keyword. For this tutorial, I'm going to select something very broad. And let's say, for example, we are a VPN service and we're looking for mentions of the word VPN. Now that's a very broad keyword and it's going to generate a lot of matches, which is good for this tutorial. But keep in mind that if you were searching in real life, you would probably want to use something more specific depending on exactly what you're trying to do. But for this example, I'm just going to type in VPN. The next option to select is whether you want a simple string or regular expression searcher. If you don't know what regex is, we highly recommend you stick with string. From there, you need to decide if you want it to be case sensitive. I do not in this case. I, I want it to be to do matches of, for example, VPN or the lowercase VPN. From there, you need to decide if you want whole word matching. What that means is that if there were some word that this VPN string were inside of right now without whole word matching, it would work, it would match on that. I am going to check. I want a human to validate my searcher. What that means is that we will actually take a look at your searcher and get back to you on whether or not it looks good. So this can be very helpful. As far as the Twitter searcher options, I'm going to keep these as default. They're probably the most relevant for what you're trying to do in most cases, but there are some other options here. You can sort by, you can get popular tweets, mixed. I'm just going to choose the most recent tweets for this. For Twitter language, you can also select a language and Twitter will try to give you tweets that it thinks are in that language. For this, I'm just going to select any, which is the default. From here, I'm going to click on add searcher. And it's important to say that our searchers, because of the way the Twitter API is, it will actually go back in time seven days and get us results from up to seven days ago. So now what I'm going to do is pause the video and I'm going to give our Twitter searcher some time to run and then we will come back and see what results we get and how we can browse those in the dashboard. Okay, so now I waited a few minutes and as you can see, we already have a lot of results coming in. So what I'm going to do now is click on view results.
Now keep in mind that I only have one searcher right now, but if I wanted to quickly switch to some of my other searchers, you could do so by clicking on this multiple choice box right here. And also, once your searcher has been running for a while, you will see a graph that generates here that shows how many mentions you've been getting for each day that it's been running. So you can see the trends over time of how those mentions are trending. So this is the notifier dashboard where we can browse and view our results. Keep in mind that you will also get emails in your inbox. And if you've selected instantly, these emails will come in showing all the results you've gotten each time it gets new results. And like I said earlier, if your ingup box gets too busy, you can always switch it to a daily summary result email. And we highly recommend that if your inbox is just getting too cluttered with alerts. So I'm gonna browse through now some of these results we're getting. And I wanna point out a few things to you here. Now keep in mind, this dashboard is in active development. So a lot of this may change over time, but this is how it is right now as I'm recording this video. In order to actually view this tweet on Twitter, I can click here. And I can actually view the tweet. Now, keep in mind, if you want to read more, you can just click here on the click to read more, and you can see the entire text of that tweet. Here is where you are seeing how long ago this tweet was made. And in this example, we're seeing one that was made 44 seconds ago compared to when we you know, generated this page, when we accessed this page. Here is the username of the person that tweeted this. And very, very soon, we're going to be showing their follower count in this dashboard as well as in the emails. So if you click on this, it will actually take you to their Twitter profile. This icon here in the lower left-hand corner obviously indicates that this is a Twitter event or object. Now, if you want to delete this mention, you can simply click here. You can also tell it to not remind you to confirm the delete for an hour if you're deleting a lot at once. So now that result is deleted. If you want to delete in bulk, we definitely support that. You can click on each of these boxes individually. And then you can say delete selected. Now, if you want to delete everything on the page, simply click here to select all and then click delete selected. Now I'm going to refresh the page so we get the latest results. And here they are. Okay, and now that you see the basics of how this works, let's talk about what we recommend you actually search for. So we actually have an article on this and you can find the link to this article in this YouTube video, or you can find it linked from our homepage. If you're having trouble finding it, reach out to us and we'll send you the link. But this article basically outlines exactly what I'm going to describe to you next, which is what we recommend everyone search for. And what we found is that there are, are effectively four major social listening strategies that we recommend you employ. And the what you search for, it really depends on the type of product you have that you're trying to market or possibly in order to listen for, in order to gauge interest in your customers and what they're saying. So if you have a larger product that's established in the market, then we definitely recommend that you search for mentions of your own product. Obviously, this is very helpful for larger products, larger brands, because you can listen and understand what customers are saying about your product, and they can directly give you feedback in a lot of cases. And now let me show you a direct example of that from our landing page. We did some searches using NordVPN, which if you're not familiar with NordVPN, they are a very popular and a good VPN 
provider. And as you can see though, it doesn't look like NordVPN is using social listening because we've found numerous instances on Twitter of users mentioning problems with NordVPN, especially around their you know, subscriptions, how you basically sign up for their service. So this would be a perfect way for NordVPN to listen and collect customer feedback that they can directly use to shape the direction of their product in the future. And also they can manage perception directly because they should have replied directly to this person, this customer on Twitter, recommending how they can actually get help instantly and also perhaps offering them something because of the bad experience that they've had. So that is the first strategy we recommend if you do have a larger product. Now, a lot of us do not have a larger product. We're using social listening as a way to kind of break in and get into the market. So for number two is actually very, very powerful for those type of products. And we actually directly use this strategy for Notifier. And that is that we recommend that you search for mentions of your competitors. And I will give you a direct example of what we do. So we search for mentions of other social listening and social monitoring tools. As an example, we, we search for Brand24. And there's been you know times where we chime in and recommend ourselves as an alternative. One problem that a lot of Brand24 customers have that we found out is they do not allow you to easily cancel your brand 24 subscription according to these customers they've had some trouble according to them getting in touch with the brand 24 people to cancel the subscription i believe you cannot cancel it from within their dashboard you have to send an email or something get in touch with a person in order to cancel it so we have you know chimed in recommended ourselves as an alternative or you just collect that data and learn what people do not want you to do. And it's, it's, a, it's an interesting way to find opportunities that will shape your own product as well as gives you a chance to jump in and market your product. And just as a quick example of this strategy number two, here is from our landing page, an example of where we saw Brand24 was mentioned. And of course, I chimed in real quickly and marketed our own product as an alternative trying to get this person to add us to this list. Okay, so this next strategy, number three, is very, very powerful for lead generation. And that is you need to search for keywords your potential customers might mention. And in this article, we have an example here that you can click on and see, as well as some examples in the article itself. And as you can see in this example here, I was actually searching for marketing and the word SaaS occurring in the same string of text. And when I saw that match, I came and read this, saw what they were talking about, and then I came in and asked them if they thought of leveraging social listening to market their product. As another example of this from our own landing page, you can see here another time where I was listening for the, the string social listening. And when that popped up, I came here, read what this person was saying, which is that so many social listening tools are so expensive for solo projects or small teams. And then I had a chance to come in here and market Notifier as an affordable social listening tool that is an alternative to some of these big enterprise tools. And so you can see how powerful that technique can be. Now, the fourth technique that we recommend is more specific to Reddit, but that is to monitor all posts in potential high value communities in whatever niche you are in. And as an example of what we mean by that, Notifier you can use to monitor all new posts or comments in a subreddit. And so, for example, if you were a VPN provider that is just trying to get started and monitor your product, you could monitor this VPN subreddit for all new posts or comments. 
And you can then chime in to every single one of those and either market your product or just collect intelligence on what major issues people who use this subreddit are facing. And so that is it for this tutorial on how to use Notifier for social listening on, on Twitter. As always, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comments or simply reach out to us by using our chat box here. Or as usual, you can always email us at tim at notifier.so or support at notifier.so and we will get back to you within the next day.